Hi, today we're going to be learning about our selection tools. So our selection tools are up here in this general area, um, right underneath the first tool, which is our move tool. So I'm going to go through and teach you several different selection tools. Again, we're going to try most all of them. Um, even though you will probably gravitate towards one or two of them, it's good for you to be familiar with all of them um, and know what is available to you to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so what we're first going to start out with doing, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the tomato. We're going to be putting all of these vegetables onto the cutting board. So we're going to zoom in on the tomato. I've already fit to screen just to review um, fit to screen. The um, long way is view, fit on screen, or command or control zero. And once you have fit to screen, now we're going to zoom in on the tomato. So the shortcut we're going to use to zoom in is command plus. And I'm going to do all my commands from here on out. Um, for a Mac. If you are using a PC, just know that it's the same thing, but you use control instead of command. <clears throat> okay, so now we've just zoomed in on the tomato, and now we're going to first use the rectangular marquee tool to select the tomato. Now it's the second tool down. If you hover over top of it, it will pop up and tell you what the name of the tool is. And this is used for making rectangular selections. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to click and I'm going to hold down and drag um, a box around my tomato. Okay, so anytime you need to make a rectangular square selection, the rectangular marquee tool is the way to go. <clears throat> Now we're going to um, make a, a selection within the selection by using the um, magic wand tool. Now to find the magic wand tool, you are going to count down four tools, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to click and hold down because it's hiding underneath of the tools there. So the magic wand tool is great because it selects based on the color of pixels. So anytime that you are making a selection and it is color dependent, you may want to go with the magic wand tool. Now, when we have the magic wand tool selected, you'll notice in the options bar, you have these little buttons. You have add to selection, subtract from selection, and um, what is this? In intersect with selection. So we're going to use this um, third one over, which is subtract from selection. So um, this is going to real easily select the tomato because then we're going to come down into the square that we've just made. Notice that um, you see the magic wand tool and you see this little minus next to it. Um, that indicates that it's going to take away or subtract from the area. So all you're going to do is click one time inside the white area and bam, it should select just the edges of the tomato nice and simple. Um, if you do mess up, you need to try it again, something didn't work out, you can just deselect. Um, you can go select, deselect, or the shortcut for deselect is command D as in dog. All right, so now the next step, we're going to fit to screen. I'm going to use the shortcut this time, Command-0. And now I'm going to grab the Move tool, and I'm going to grab the tomato. Oh, I should note this. When you have the Move tool selected, you will notice that when you move it over top of the tomato, because it is selected, the Move tool icon turns into a little pair of scissors. So. As the tomato is selected and you're using the first tool, the move tool, you're just going to grab a hold of it and you're going to bring it up here and we're going to place it right about here on the cutting board and then we're going to deselect command D and that will deselect the tomato. So 
first one's done. Now we're, there's a little bit of excess. We're not going to worry about the excess because when we're all finished and done, we're going to get rid of that and just cut it off. So next up, we are going to do the carrot. So we're going to zoom in on the carrot. I'm using the shortcut command plus, and then I'm using these little sliders on our workspace to kind of navigate and find the carrot. You want the carrot to fill the whole space. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. That's pretty good right there. Now I always have my history panel right here. Um, if you want to collapse it or need to access it, it is right there for you. Now, to select the carrot, we're going to use the um, lasso tool. So this is the third tool down. You're going to count down three, one, two, three. And the lasso tool, in my opinion, when you use it, it's kind of like... Um, It's good for irregular selections, and um, it reminds me kind of like a pencil. So when you click, it's and you just click and basically draw, and it's really great for irregular selections. So I'm gonna do this kind of quickly. I'm just my mouse is, or I'm still holding down with my mouse button as I go around it. I'm gonna go back to where we left off. Okay, so when you get back to where you left off and connect it it's going to turn into a selection automatically now though my selection's not terrible it's not great so i'm i don't really like it so i'm going to step back and i'm going to try it again with the magnetic lasso tool so if i go back to my third tool down and i hold down um, you're going to see the polygonal lasso tool which is good for irregular selections that are um, have um, edges and then the one we're going to try is the magnetic lasso tool. This one's cool because when you you click on the edge and then you slowly go around the edge and it naturally attaches to it like a magnet. So I'm just I'm not clicking. You can click. If you click you can make um, an anchor point or you can just drag it slowly around the edge and it will magnetize to the edge of it now if you mess up say I go down here you can just hit your delete key or your backspace key on your keyboard and that will get rid of those last anchor points so I'm slowly just going around and as I'm going it's select it's putting anchor points down this one does take a while to get the hang of, but it can be quite useful. And this exercise today really is just to practice different ways of selecting. You will have a favorite, but it again, sometimes your favorite won't work once you have one and you'll need some other options, so it's good for you to know about all of these. Okay, when you get back to where you left off, you're gonna click and it should turn into a selection. Then we're gonna fit to screen, command zero. We're gonna grab the move tool, the first tool, and then we're going to click and drag, bring our um, carrot right about here. Now at this point, I wanna teach you how to rotate something. We're gonna rotate the carrot a little bit. Uh, and also how to change the size of something, which is gonna be so, so useful in your future projects. So. The shortcut to change the size and rotate is found under the edit menu. So you're going to go edit, free transform. When you do edit, free transform, it gives you a bounding box around your carrot. You can actually grab, you always want to do a corner. Grab a corner and you can make it larger, smaller. And if you come hover on the edge of the corner, always a corner, it, you see that your mouse turns into a curved arrow. See the curved arrow right there? If you have a curved arrow, that indicates that you can rotate your item. So just give your carrot a little rotation. And then when you do, when you are in free transform mode, you do have to commit it, commit the change once you are finished with it. So up in your options bar, this is very important. The check mark, you hit the check mark to commit and then the bounding box goes away and then you're left still with the selected carrot. To deselect, use shortcut command D and then we're on to the next.
For the next one, I'm gonna do the pepper and I'm gonna continue practicing with the magnetic lasso tool. So I'm gonna use Command Plus to zoom in on the pepper. Grab that third tool down, which still should be your magnetic lasso. And I'm gonna just practice, oh, I messed up. So again, if you mess up, you can use the history panel or just hit delete on your keyboard to back you up. Carefully going around the edge to select. You hear Tiki snoring over there. Okay, so I'm carefully going around, not gonna get the shadow. Gonna speed it up a little bit. You can click the mouse if you want to. Okay, back to where I began. Now I'm gonna fit to screen, Command Zero. Grab that first tool in your tool panel. Grab that pepper. Bring that pepper over. Let's see, let's put the pepper here. Over to our cutting board. Now, after you have moved these and deselected them, you really don't want to try and move them again because of the way we're doing this project because they are not on their own individual layers. If we try and move it after we deselect, it, it will take a chunk of your cutting board out. So once you have placed the items and deselected, just leave them be. So I'm going to deselect Command D. And now we're going to do the lettuce, olives, and olives with, well, I think I'll teach you, I'll teach you two more selection tools. I'm kind of going from what I would consider to be the hardest to the easiest. So now we're going to zoom in on the lettuce. And we're going to use the fourth tool down, one, two, three, four. Click and hold down so we can see the tools hiding underneath. And we're going to use the quick selection tool this time. The quick selection tool used to be my very favorite selecting tool, and I still use it often. It's a really good selection tool. Now, just to show you, um, just to remind you, on your keyboard next to the P key, there is a key, the bracket keys, that will make your size of your tool larger or smaller, well, smaller or larger, and which is super useful. Now, up in the options bar, you see that I can be on the plus, which would add to the selection, the minus, which would subtract from the selection. So I have my size on 50, and I'm on the plus, and I'm going to just click on the lettuce right here. I'm going to click and drag. And as you click and drag, you will notice that it's adding on to the selection. It's pretty easy. If you mess up, just deselect and try it again. Should be pretty easy for you. Now I'm looking around. I see I missed that little piece right here. So I'm just going to click to add that little piece in. Super easy. Again, this is one of my favorite selection tools. It um, selects space by painting um, a selection on. And it goes by kind of the edges, which is great. Um, and then I'm going to fit to screen, Command-0. Grab my Move tool and move my lettuce on over to the cutting board. I'm going to deselect, Command-D. And now I'm going to do the olives next. So I'm on the Move tool and I'm zooming in, Command-Plus. And this time, actually, let's use our the last to selecting tool I want to teach you, which is hiding underneath the quick selection so tool. So click and hold down. It's called the object selection tool. This one is a new addition to Photoshop, probably a few years ago now, but it it's really amazing. So I'm going to make a rectangle around this um, oval of olives. So I'm going to click right here and drag. Then I'm going to let go of the mouse and it will automatically read the edges of your object inside of the box and it will snap to it. So you see it's thinking, thinking, thinking when you see it, the little um, 
circles spinning, and then zap, it snaps too. So super, super useful. This will probably be your favorite, but again, I want you to know the other ones. So once you have it selected, you're going to fit to screen, command zero. Grab your move tool and click and drag to move your olives onto your cutting board. Once you have your olives in place, deselect, command D. And a few more steps and then we're gonna wrap it up for today. All right, so now we're going to bring, use the same tool and bring our salad sticker onto this corner right here. So we're gonna zoom in, command plus, plus, plus. Using that same fourth tool down, the object selection tool, I'm gonna make another box around this to select it. Fit to screen, command zero, grab the move tool. Um, side note, the shortcut for the move tool is the V key, V as in victory. So if you'd like to use that, you can. So I'm going to grab the little salad sticker and put it right in that corner. Deselect, Command D, or you could do it the long way, select, deselect, up to you. Okay, now we're pretty much finished, so what we're going to do is we are going to crop this excess off over here, the remnants of what we cut out of. So we're going to use the crop tool, which is our fifth tool down. So count down five, one, two, three, four, five, and grab our crop tool. Now, once you have the crop tool selected, um, you're, I just fit to screen again real quick so I could see the edges of it. Um, you can grab a hold of a corner and just pull it in. Now this area grayed out, this is called the cropping shield. So the area right here, the gridded area will stay and this area that's grayed out will become trash and disappear once you apply this crop. Now like free transform, when we apply the crop, that is by hitting the check mark at the top in the options bar. Okay, there is our finished product. Now, we do not have any additional layers. We worked solely on our background layer this time around, so we don't need to flatten it. It's already flattened. So we're just going to file, save as, save on your computer as a JPEG, and then you can turn it in.